All right, guys, you asked. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to do a disclaimer. Rad Bio is not, I think, uh, my best strong suit, but here's how I remember it. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick on Rad Bio, Rad Sensitivity, the effects and the dose relationship, and then um, the responses, which seems to be um, something people have been looking for. So Rad Bio versus Rad Sensitivity. One is the study of effects of radiation on the biological system, and then essentially the other is the vulnerability of cells, tissues, organs, um, to the harmful effects of ionization, ionizi ionizing radiation. All right. So there's a um, a law that we hear quite a bit with rad safety, and it's the law of Bergani and Tribondo. And essentially, it's just an outline for us of tell me which cells are more sensitive to radiation than others, and what sort of characteristics make them more sensitive. And so it's um, going to be significant to the reproductive rate and the degree of differentiation. What does that mean? Um, so it's more radiosensitive when the cell is dividing. If it's um, a low degree of specialization, if it's oxygenated, it's going to be more sensitive to radiation. Um, so your stem cells are very radiosensitive. The younger the tissues and organs, the more radiosensitive. Um, things like that. So young cells and cells that divide more often are going to be sensitive, right? A fetus is more sensitive to radiation than a child or an adult. The cell cycle stages. Um, so there's distinct phases um, leading to the duplication of DNA and ultimately cell division. And so there's G1, which is the first growth phase. The S is the synthesis phase. This is the least radiosensitive phase. And G2 is the second growth phase and then the mitosis phase. The mitosis phase, I think, is the main player here and the one that we should pay attention to. Um, this is where the cell divides into two cells in the process called mitosis. It's the most radiosensitive and the cell is well oxygenated, which we know from that Bergani and Tribondo, that when it's more oxygenated, more sensitive. Um, so that is one I definitely would pay attention to. We're going to get to um, the other steps like the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase uh, in later uh, slides here. But so these are the main um, phases and then we'll talk about these um, specific ones in a few. Cell sensitivity. So as the cells mature and become more sensitive, um, specialized, they're less sensitive to radiation, but are ones that are not specialized. Um, are definitely more sensitive. And so your blood cells, which are the most radiosensitive, so if you have an option for, say, lymphocytes, if you're given a list of things to put in order from most sensitive to least sensitive, you're going to start with your lymphocytes or your blood cells. Um, the stem cells in bone marrow are especially radiosensitive. So that's within your hematopoietic system. Um, that's your bone marrow and your lymphatic tissues. Um, things like that. And then so rep reproductive cells will be next um, and your immature stem sperm cells and because they divide rapidly, they are in a higher sensitivity section. The third on the list would be GI and um, the small intestine is your most radiosensitive area of um, the intestines. It has um, the villi I always say that name wrong anyway. Um, then epithelial tissue is highly radiosensitive, right? We know our, um, our skin and our hair follicles, they divide rapidly. Then muscle and nerve are going to be at your end. They are specialized. So they are low sensitivity. So if you're, if you like put these on a set of flashcards, like put lymphocytes, put reproductive cells, GI, epithelial muscle, nerve, flip them all over, and then put them in order. Most sensitive to least sensitive. Something like that would be a good practice. So, and that's kind of what it could be, question-wise, which of these are most radiosensitive? Which of these are least radiosensitive? And I know sometimes these questions can be confusing. And 
I think if you take out the radio part of the word, instead of most radio sensitive, just go with most sensitive and least sensitive, least resistant and most resistant. Sometimes these wordings can trip us up a little bit and go with your basics and just practice putting them in order um, and how they could be asked. The oxygen effect and the sensitivity. So we know that tissue is more sensitive to radiation when it's in an oxygenated state. The oxygen creates those free radicals, which increase the damage to the cell. As OER increases, cell survival decreases. So anytime you see oxygenation, uh, that equals more sensitive. And then your DNA. Um, so your DNA is the molecule that carries the genetic information for the development and um, functioning of an organism. It has two linked strands that wind around. And then these attached sugars have pairs. I would suggest knowing these pairs. The adenine goes with the thymine, guanine with the cystosine. So G and C and A and T go together. What if you were asked to match them? Why you'd need to know this, I don't know, but just for fun, okay? How does it damage cells? It's either gonna be a direct uh, radiation damage or indirect. And the direct is a direct hit where indirect is gonna um, interact outside the DNA first and produce a free radical. The DNA breaks can be single strand or double strand. Single, pretty self-explanatory, only one strand is damaged. It's not as lethal and it can generally be repaired. The double strand break is worse and most of the time non-repairable can result in cell death, steri sterilization, um, or mutation. So the double strand break is way worse than the single. Direct hit versus indirect hit. Direct is a direct hit to DNA, right? More damaging. Indirect is when the x-ray photon hits a water molecule first, creating a free radical that hits the DNA. Why does indirect happen more often? Well, our bodies are, what, 80% water or more? Um, so that's why the indirect happens more often. So we'll see that and it's more common and less damaging. And then we have target theory. If the DNA is the target of radiation damage, and is inactivated, then the cell dies. So if it's um, a direct hit to the DNA, um, if it passes through the nucleus, um, it can be more significantly damaging. Here's your cell cycles. Okay, I would know these in order. Um, I was taught PMAT or Paul met Andy and Tom. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So these are your cell cycles. Interphase death or apoptosis is when uh, it dies before it can divide. And that's usually within um, the metaphase cycle or the my mitotic death is when it dies after one or more cycles. And just to remember terminology wise, germ cells divide by meiosis or somatic cells divide by mitosis. Okay, let's just keep those two terms in mind, but knowing the order of these is something I would suggest. All right, I'm going to come back with this one and we'll do a part two.